Welcome back guys to the Kids Coding Playground here, and today we'll be doing the part 2 of the Sonic series. So this is the Sonic game we've been working on in the last tutorial, so we have all the running, walking, down arrow, up arrow, jumping, all the like movement done in the last video. So here's our second part of this tutorial. So first, I forgot to rename this project actually, so my name is Sonic Runner Game, I guess. Runner, Runner Game. So. Here we're gonna name it, and then this is what we had from last time. So if you missed anything or something's not working, here's the time to do it. You can pause the video if you want. And then next, let's work on the backdrops. So we have the background one, two, so we're gonna make it start scrolling. So courtesy to Scratch Team for showing how to do this, it's really simple. So I'll just show you guys right now. So when, when Green Flag clicked, we're just gonna go to the back layer. Go to back layer. And then we're gonna go to zero zero. Uh, go to the x zero y zero. So this is the first backdrop. So we're gonna make it go to the middle. And then we're gonna get a forever loop. Forever. We're gonna change the x by ninety four. So we're gonna make the backdrop move to the left because it will simulate as the player is moving. So see the background will move to the left. That means the player is moving to the right. So we're gonna change the x by negative four. Negative four. Okay. Put that right there, and then we're gonna if if uh, the x position is less than negative one uh, four sixty. Sorry. So basically, we're gonna make it scroll all the way to negative four sixty, which is somewhere on the far left. So if the x position is less than that, then we're gonna move the backdrop back to its position. So we're gonna move it to four sixty zero, which is all the way in the far right. So we want to make it in like a continuous pattern where this one gets. Here, this other backdrop will get here. So it's kind of like scrolling in a pattern. So, and then we're going to go to the X position of 460 to, and Y0, and then we're going to do the next costume. So then it will switch the costume to the other costume. So we'll have some more variety to the backdrop. So here's our first part of the code, and then we're just going to drag and drop this into the second backdrop. It's not completely the same, so we're going to have to change some of the code. So right here we have the X is going to be 460, so we're going to make this first backdrop start in the middle, and this one's going to start on the far right. So when this one is finished scrolling all the way to the far left, this one will be in the middle. So it's kind of in a pattern. And then right here, x is negative 4, x position is less than negative 40, 460, go to this position. So that's all that is, except for this. Just change the x position to 460. So now we have the two backdrops that can scroll. So let's save the project. As you can see, the backdrop was scrolling. It actually looks like Sonic is moving now. So yeah, there we have our simple scrolling backdrop. It's uh, much more simple than other scrolling backdrop tutorials I've seen, like from Griff Patch. But this is just a simple one. Just keep it simple. Next, let's hop into our trap sprite. So here we have the trap sprite. We're gonna do a when I receive the message reset. Um, so what we're gonna do is make it easier as the player progresses. Usually it's supposed to be the other way around. We're doing it like that because we want it to be easier to get higher score in this game so we're gonna make it like so spikes and traps will appear less often as you go further into the game so we're gonna go to so the player will have more playing time obviously so we'll go to x 200 y negative 110 and then we're gonna go hide so in the beginning to hide and then forever forever loop we're going to if else so this is the part where we show the spikes so if the score is greater than 100 so Basically, after it gets past 100, the spikes and traps will start showing less often. So, score is greater than 100, then we'll wait. We're gonna wait five to eight seconds. Five to eight seconds, and then else we're gonna wait one to three seconds. So, in the early game, you will have to face a lot of spikes. And we're gonna create a clone of myself. So, we're gonna be using clones. Create a clone of myself. And then when I receive reset, you're going to delete this clone. So we're going to delete this clone. So we're going to delete all the previous clones before creating new ones. And then when I start as a clone right here, then we're going to show. And then we're going to switch costume to pick random one to three. As you can see, we have three costumes. Let me like put this code in and I'll show you. So one to three. So inside here, you can see we have the spike saw and the spike head three costumes, so we're going to pick random which one to show up, and then we're going to repeat 
uh, repeat until x position is less than negative 220, which is near the left. So we're going to do uh, repeat until x position is less than negative 220. If it is, then we're going to change the, oops, my, uh, and we're going to change the x by negative 6. And then we're going to delete this clone when it gets to the edge. So we're doing negative 6 because you see the backdrop is scrolling by negative 4. So we have to do negative 6 or else the spikes and traps will not appear to move. So as you can see, if we put negative 2, it will not move at all. It will look like it's not moving at all. So you see, it's actually moving at oh, like towards you, but like really slow. So it doesn't look good at all. So we're going to have to do negative 6, which is more than what the backdrop is scrolling at. The backdrop is scrolling at negative 4, so we want to make it negative 6. So I'll show you guys now. So as you can see, the spikes are scrolling at a much faster rate, and it looks much better. Okay, so now let's work on our bullet bill. So our bullet bill, the code is quite similar, except it's higher in the air, and it'll probably move quicker. So uh, we're just going to drag this code in, and then I'll switch it up a little. So we have the reset code. So right here, instead, we're going to go to the x214, y-25. So we're going to get 214. And the y is negative 25. So uh, you can adjust your bullet bill accordingly to however high your Sonic is, because we want it to make the bullet bill hit Sonic if he's not ducking. So only if he's ducking, he'll avoid bullet bill. So here, this is the, this is the coordinate I got. And then right here, forever, we're going to get an if then statement. So if um, score is greater than 100, we're going to wait, pick random. Let's do 2 to 5. Um, I'm just going to do this number. I don't. This, I don't think I had this in my old game, but I think we'll just do 2 to 5. That sounds pretty reasonable. And then we're going to create a clone of myself. And then we're going to do, when I receive reset, we're going to delete all the previous clones as well. So we're going to do that. And next, we're going to do a, when I start as clone, we are going to show, show the bullet bill. And then repeat until the exposition is less than negative 220. Same as the other one, so we're going to repeat until x is less than negative 220, so x position less than negative 220. Then we're going to change the x by negative 8, so as you can see the traps are negative 6, this one is going to be negative 8 because we want to make the bullets go faster. So we're going to change the x by negative 8. And then next we're going to delete this clone. And there we have all our code from the bullet build. So let's save it. I'll show you. So right here we have the traps. Let's wait for the bullet build. Yeah, so sometimes like you see the uh, trap and the bullet build come at the same time. There's not really any way you can like prevent that from happening besides making the traps show less and the bullets show more. Um, there probably is a way, but like we just have to think about it. So this game definitely needs like some fine tuning. But if you can do that, this game would work really well. So I'll show you guys the bullet bill. So jump over to this. Show you guys a duck under it. Oh no, I died from it. But like basically, the point is that you're supposed to duck under the bullet bill. As you can see, as you can see, you don't get killed by the bullet bill if you duck. But in theory, if you like just stay like this, a bullet bill should be able to kill you. And sometimes another bug in this game is like when you die. You, um, you know how you spawn, you'll instantly be able to jump up there. That's not really much of a problem, but you can fix it by maybe putting a little delay. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much it for the bullet bill. I just want to show you guys that to make sure that you die if you don't duck. So, yeah, so you die, you lose all your score. So your score like goes back to zero if you die in this game. Okay, so next let's go to the ring. So inside our ring, we're going to, when I receive the message reset, we can just drag and drop this code in. And in here, we're just going to change some of the positions. X is going to be 200. Y, we're going to 85. We're going to hide it forever. We're, just, we're not even going to do the score thing. We're just going to put this in. And then we're going to 5 to 8. How about that? 5 to 8 seconds. It's not as common, but these will give you 500 score if you're able to collect them. Then wait until when I receive reset, we're going to delete this clone. 
and then we're gonna get oh when I receive a start as a clone. When I start as a clone, sorry. We're gonna show and then we're gonna switch costume to pick around one to two, so you know we have the heart and the um ring both in the same costume, so one to two. And then we're just gonna repeat until X position is great uh, less than negative two twenty, sorry. Or we're gonna get an or or if it's touching the sonic. So we're gonna do two negative two twenty. So if the X position is less than negative two twenty, or it's touching Sonic. So if it's touching Sonic as well, then we will change the X by negative ten. So basically, the rings are going to move the quickest. They're going to move at negative ten. So we're going to repeat until it's touching either of those, and then if it does, if it's touching Sonic, then we are going to. Uh, if it's touching the Sonic, let me get that. Touching Sonic, then we're going to change the score by 500. So it's going to give him this a score boost. Oops, the wrong one. Score, and then we're going to do 500. And then we're going to delete this clone once it has been collected or it touches the edge. So here we have our heart and ring code. So one last thing, we can go back to our Sonic and then we can add a high score tracker thing. So here, inside this code right here, when green flag clicked, we can add a high score tracker thing. So this is gonna like uh, show the high score and stuff. So we're gonna have to make a cloud variable. So it'll save on the cloud. So we're gonna make it cloud variables, so it's stored. We're gonna name it high score. High score, and then we have the high score variable right here. So we're gonna do a forever loop. We have it right there. This is really simple code. If the score is greater than high score, so if the score you have is greater than the high score, uh, then we will set the high score variable to the scores variable. So here we have a simple high score script, and there you go. There's our project. So let's hide the false speed sprite um, variable, and then let's put the high scores one like right here, I guess. I don't know, like that. Okay, so let's save the project. Now let's just demonstrate it. So jump. You can jump over the obstacles. Duck. It works. So you see the score is increasing with the high score because it's the only score we have. Ducking under the bullet bills. We're pretty lucky with the amount of spawns we're having. We're not having too much. Oh, there. So now we're dead. So, see, as you can see, our high score is set to 561, which I believe is what I thought. So, that's it for today's tutorial. This is the second part for our sonic runner game so don't forget to like share and subscribe and ring the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video